How's it going, guys? Slightly unusual question for endocrine slash pathology. Some important factoids I will chat about in this question. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now start the question. 49-year-old woman with long-standing rheumatoid arthritis. She is on high-dose ibuprofen, prednisone, and methotrexate. 25-pack your history of smoking. She has central obesity with violaceous striae. Serum potassium is 3.3 milliequivalents per liter. Normal range 3.5 to 5. Chest x ratio is mild hyperinflation. Question wants to know the upper down arrow combination for ACTH release from anterior pituitary, ACTH release from pulmonary neoplasm, and serum cortisol. So let's just walk through the question here. Uh, the first point we need to establish is that this patient clearly has Cushing syndrome. The cause is the patient's prednisone, okay, exogenous glucocorticoids. This is really, really important. Uh, they can give you any autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis, IBD, SLE, and they can just say patients managed with multiple medications. They don't have to say prednisone. You need to be able to infer that a patient who's Cushingoid, who has an autoimmune disease, uh, who's being managed with different medications, that prednisone is the cause, okay? Very fucking high yield, especially in 2CK. They're not going to be this explicit. Now, whilst the patient... Uh, has a 25-pack year history of smoking, the chest x-ray doesn't show any overt neoplasm, okay? Mild hyperinflation, non-specific finding for obstructive lung disease, that clearly this would be due to uh, developing COPD. This uh, chest x-ray finding can also be seen in asthma. So the violaceous striae, yes, uh, the Cushing's. Now the low serum potassium, that's going to be uh, a fucking weird finding for some of you. You need to know that Cushing syndrome can present with low potassium, okay? That whilst Mineralocorticoid, aldosterone, is the hormone that induces distal renal secretion of potassium at the cortical collecting duct. That uh, elevated and chronic uh, glucocorticoid levels, okay, whether it's exogenous prednisone or endogenous cortisol, uh, can cause distal renal secretion of potassium as well, okay? All glucocorticoids will have fractional mineralocorticoid effect. Fluid row cortisone. Uh, is a glucocorticoid that has very high mineralocorticoid effect. Hence, it is the treatment for Addison disease when we have low cortisol and low aldosterone. In contrast, glucocorticoids such as prednisone, hydrocortisone, dexamethasone, very mi minor mineralocorticoid effect. Uh, however, as I just fucking said, chronically elevated levels of uh, these glucocorticoids nevertheless uh, even if they have very minor mineralocorticoid function, can still cause distal secretion of potassium in the kidney, okay? So especially for 2CK questions, you will get uh, Cushing syndrome patients who have low potassium. That's not weird, okay? It doesn't mean aldosterone is elevated, okay? This is a, a finding that you should be aware of. Now let's just look at the answer choices. Uh, you need to know just straight up the answer is a down arrow for all three. First of all, there's no fucking lung cancer here. Okay, I mean, there's no small cell bronchogenic carcinoma secreting ACTH. That's just a weird uh, answer choice I decided to throw in there uh, as a variable. Uh, so we would expect a down arrow for uh, any ACTH released from the lungs. Um, we have a down arrow for ACTH from the anterior pituitary because the exogenous prednisone is going to induce negative feedback on CRH from the hypothalamus and ACTH with the anterior pituitary. And then you say, well, what about serum cortisol? It's fucking low, okay, because... Uh, Although the patient has Cushing syndrome, endogenous cortisol is different from exogenous glucocorticoids. Okay, that causes a lot of confusion for students where they get a Cushingoid patient and they're like, OMG, cortisol is high. Wrong fucking answer. Okay, you need to know that uh, endogenous cortisol, this only refers to what's produced by the zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex. Okay, prednisone, dexamethasone, hydrocortisone, they're not cortisol. Okay, uh, that's especially uh, confusing when. We talk about thyroid hormones unrelated, but if you give exogenous T3 or T4, yes, that's actual thyroid hormone, uh, but it's not the same for cortisol. We don't give patients cortisol. We give patients uh, exogenous glucocorticoid prednisone different from actual endogenous cortisol. So it's a down arrow for all three. Cortisol is low because ACTH is low, so we have uh, an understimulated uh, zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.